carry on Yeah, tonight was my first exposure of an actual talk to the Theology of the Body, and it was more than a home run. It was fantastic. Like, if a parent could have that and give that to their kid, like, I, I, yes, I would recommend it 100%. Made for More is a new event that we've been working on, and the idea is to create a multimedia presentation using lecture, using music, just uh, using video clips and uh, other artistic images and uh, make a presentation that really meets people where they're at. Every person can take away with this event and, and make a difference in our life. My initial reaction to honestly is that like everyone I know should see and hear this material, think this is a project that can bring hope back to everyone that despairs. It will help so many people get back on the right track. No matter if you're a young adult or you're someone in your 70s, it's a message that we've had to, that we have to hear because it just hasn't the story hasn't been told the way it needs to be told. And so our hope also is that this event is an opportunity for the people who attend to really see something of who they are that they've never seen before, that they see the beauty that God's created them to be, uh, and to really that promised land, which is the beauty that we're all called to. So that's our hope, that it unlocks a greater discovery of that. We don't know who we are, we don't know why we exist, and everything is at the superficial level. And nobody in my experience explains the, the, the true human condition, the reason, the meaning, the purpose for why we exist better than Christopher West. We're taking people on a journey through some particular words of Christ. We start with a word of Christ that is, they look but do not see. So we've been trained to look at the human body, but not see it. We've been trained to look at a flower but not see it. All of creation has a message. And Jesus says, come and become one who sees. He's in the business of giving sight to the blind. And the goal of this event is really to turn the lights on for people so that they can see the mystery of God revealed through the body. See the mystery of God revealed through all of creation. And through that coming to see, our hope and our prayers that the heart is awakened towards seeing what God's plan is for creation, what God's plan is for our lives. When our eyes get opened up in this way, our whole lives get oriented in a new direction. Another key quote we're using is from the Catechism about these two fundamental and decisive questions, where we come from and where we are going. We want to wake people up to beauty, and that encounter with beauty opens the heart in such a way that we come to discover who God is who we are, where we're from, and where we're headed. We are made for more than what this world holds out to us. And we're holding out through this event a vision, a beautiful vision of the promised land. And on the moon we'll stand Through a blazing veil To the promised land